a toy car, and Axe body spray. Fairly important. The early Christmas presents are made possible by the Encantera Veterans Club from Santan Valley. They asked each veteran what they wanted for Christmas, bought it for them, and wrapped it up ready to go. They're giving out several presents to the 170 veterans here. Some of these veterans don't have families. Okay, so when we bring them the gifts, you know, and, and they just look at us and thank us, you know, but you know what, we're the ones that are thanking them for what they've done. Then they walk down the hallways bringing Christmas cheer, stopping the veterans to say thank you with their gift. My best story is the fact is that several years ago, uh, we had a, a gentleman we gave a gift to and he was probably in his 70s and he was bedridden. And he looked at the uh, presenter and said, this is the first time I've ever got a Christmas gift. And things like that break your heart, but it really brings you together. It's all about getting the holiday started with giving, but the club says they get so much more out of it than the veterans opening up the gifts. If you're a veteran, you understand. These are our buddies. Bailey Miller, Fox 10 News. Stay with us for Fox and News at 5. A tragic story, an overnight shooting leads a father of five dead, leaves a father of five dead. We'll have reaction from the neighborhood. That is next on your Most Local News at 5. Okay, good. Tonight on your most local news at five, a father gunned down in front of his mother's house. We'll have a closer look at what investigators know at this hour. Then the first lawsuit filed in the mass shooting at Lad People's Stadium this past summer. We're going to tell you just who that man is and why he's suing. We got the breakdown. Plus, reaction to a new law in effect across the country that makes animal cruelty a federal felony. First, with breaking news and breaking weather on the Gulf Coast, this is Fox 10 News at 5 p.m. Committed to you. Hi, and thank you for looking in tonight. I'm Lenny Slagon. And I'm Byron Day. We're glad you chose Fox 10 News at 5. First tonight, another tragic shooting death in the area this holiday season. Yeah, investigators say a father of five gunned down in the front yard of his mom's house. It happened last night in the Whistler area. Steve Alexander standing by live in the neighborhood with details. Steve, a lot of questions here. Yeah, there's still a lot of unanswered questions, too. Pritchard police say the shooting happened here on Vestavia Street, but you may be able to provide some answers for them. This morning dealing with a family that's totally devastated in the loss of a young man. 33-year-old Richard Lucy is the father of five children. A clergyman representing family members spoke for them about the incident. He says Lucy was killed in the front yard of the home. There was no return kind of fire, nothing like that. It was a shooting that the family feels was unjustifiable, unnecessary, and they're heartbroken. 
Pritchard police say they were called out to Vestavia Street between 9 and 9.30 last night for reports of a man with multiple wounds. He was confirmed dead on the scene. He was a family man, a man that I understand that with his father and other family members would cut the neighbor's grass, rake the neighbor's yard, do anything in this community up and down Vestavia Street that they could do to help people. Neighbors didn't talk about what they heard or saw last night. But one man who didn't want to be identified says he was familiar with Lucy and his family. I never know what to bother anybody. I don't know what really happened. Quiet neighborhood, no problems? No, really? no problem here. Quiet neighborhood. Now, Pritchard police say right now there are no suspects, no arrests made in the case. However, you can help them if you have any information. Reporting live from Whistler, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.